Just off the beaten path in Mystic, Somewhere in Time Cafe is the kind of place people find out about by asking someone who lives in town where they eat. And once they've come, you can bet they'll be back. It's very homey. Um, we've been coming here, God, for how many years? Ten years? We know everybody. Even when there's a line outside, you can come in and get a cup of coffee and wait outside and chit chat with people. And even if it's not on the menu, they'll make it for you. Here you go, James. Here is your omelet special. I love it here. We've been coming here for 10 years every Sunday, and now we're starting to be every Saturday and Sunday. We love the food, we love the people. Uh, it's just a great place to spend your Sunday morning. Sugar. It's perfect. Always. Every time. Without fail. Just the way Serena and Gwen McGugan dreamed it up 12 years ago when the business partners noticed a restaurant for sale in the newspaper and went for it. Next thing I know, we're opening this restaurant and I have to quit my job as a teacher because it's so um, overwhelming and um, here we are. Owners of the favorite breakfast and lunch spot in Mystic, plus a second restaurant in Fairhaven. I really didn't want to, um, thus the name When Pigs Fly, but there we are almost four years now. Preparing homemade, made from scratch meals in a homey environment that resonates for both the customers and employees. It's a great place to work. The customers are awesome and the owners are fantastic. I love it. It's my home away from home. People are always coming in saying, this is a table that looked like the one at home when I grew up and um, everyone knows each other by name. Um, we had a minister once say that he uh, felt he should hold church services here. High praise indeed. I really think it's the consistency and that when you come in, it's like a family feeling. Like we know everybody's name, we know what everybody likes, we, they know that they can expect to come in and be pleased when they leave. It was awesome and we'll be back tomorrow. And this is nice because no one carries flavored coffee and no one carries seasonal flavored coffees. They've got two of them. This is great. They've also got seasonal specialties such as Christmas French toast. That's it, Christmas French toast. And pumpkin pancakes, plus homemade muffins and scones. Right now we got a hocus pocus going, which is poached eggs over sourdough with spinach, tomato, cheddar cheese, and herbs. We also have an order up here for a little scramble breakfast and an American omelet. Okay, James, here's your American omelet. I like the tall twisted Toby for my lunch menu, and um, that's uh, chicken with bacon and spinach and onion on a pretzel roll with a honey mustard sauce, which I love. <laughs> For the breakfast menu, I really love the banana bread French toast. We make homemade banana bread and slice it and make it into French toast. That's not on our menu anymore, but we, have, we serve it all the time anyway. We kept it on our um, specials board every day because people uh, wanted me to put it back on the menu so badly. Somewhere in Time Cafe is open 6 a.m. to 2.15 p.m., Mondays through Saturdays, and 7 to 2.15 on Sundays. I think it's important to have a life, to not be burnt out, to do what you do well. Um, I can focus on breakfast and lunch and be home by four. If I had to be open from, you know, six in the morning until ten at night, I don't think I could do what I'm doing. And that would be a sad day in Mystic. I'm thinking eggnog, winter spice is running a close second. I might have to come back and try them both. Some people eat here every day, some people eat here once a week. This is the very best place on the whole planet. I come here all the time and I just love it. Great quality, natural food. We don't you know, buy anything processed, we crack our own eggs, we cook our own bacon. A, a friendly, homey atmosphere that people are looking for.